Hi guys, for today's video, this is Binance Complete Tutorial, Step by Step for Beginners 2021, and this is the latest. Alright? So, alright guys, before we start this video, so I'm going to show you what's inside this video. Number one guys, we will check the Binance company background. Alright, so we'll check if this is profitable or is this company is legit or it's stable okay and then number two i will show you how to sign up properly easy and step by step number three i will show you how to verify your account okay and then number four how to secure your account okay let we will put uh for security in your account so that uh it's secured and cannot um uh, hack your account and then number five how to add fun using three ways okay we can use credit card p2p and other platform or other wallets we can transfer it to binance and then number six okay uh, you will learn how to trade using spot trading and of course the futures or the derivatives trading or contract trading and then number seven i will show you how to use limits Okay, markets and OCO or one can sell to another and I will show you how how to use the indicator or what candle you are you, you need to use and then of course uh, number eight I will show you how to hold your crypto okay so you can still earn money by just holding your cryptocurrency here in Bit, uh, Binance and of course I will show you how to do staking you can use uh, you can do staking cryptos and you can earn money and number 10 of course i will show you how to withdraw your balance or fund here in binance all right so if you want to learn about all of this okay make sure to watch this video until the end and guys before we start i will invite you to please subscribe to my youtube channel and hit the notification bell in order to to you updated every time i upload a new video Alright guys, we are here on CoinMarketCap to ch check if uh, Binance is actually uh, a good uh, good uh, platform to trade here in Binance. So let's check if the Binance here in exchanges. Alright, so the good thing guys about Binance, actually uh, Binance is the number one platform for trading. Even if uh, spot, okay, and... So we'll check if in derivatives or futures. Okay, so as you can see guys, Binance is the number one. Okay, so I think uh, here uh, Binance is one of the best to trade uh, whether it's spot or in derivatives. Alright, so if you want to check about Binance, so you just simply click this Binance. Alright, and then from that, so you can check around, they, they have a 192 billion US dollar okay capital or market capital okay so as you can see guys there are lots of uh, pairs here in binance actually they 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 are the biggest okay uh trading platform where you can trade your cryptocurrency okay so let's go back to our uh how to sign up okay guys right now we are in a platform of binance first step you have to go you have to do is click the link on the description of this video so in that in that part there is a link just simply click that one and then what you can see after you clicking that is you can see like this okay as you can see so the first thing you have to do is click this one click register all right so they have two ways guys to create an account here on binance and it's a free account so it's a free so there's no payment to create an account here so you can use your email and you can use your mobile all right so if you want to if you will use your email just simply uh put it here okay sign up that and then create your own password creating password uh, they you have a minimum eight characters at least one uppercase and at least one number and automatically guys there's a referral id all right and then if you want to use mobile okay so check this one is where your country is okay if you are in, from colombia germany denmark so you can use that and then just add the numbers from your cell phone number and then put your password and just like the other the email then click create an account then after that after click, click 
clicking this create an account what you can see is like this okay guys go to your email and then put verification code and then click verify email and that's it all right after that you will log in okay guys when you log in just simply click this log in all right and then after that what you can see is like this and then drag this one okay after that okay all right guys once you click okay the login this is what you can see okay just like this so this is one of my account here on binance all right so you can first you have to secure or verify okay so that's what i uh late earlier just click this verify to verify your account and then input six numbers all right so and after that okay let's secure your account so click this security all right and after that okay so you have to secure your account you can set up the two fa or two features authentication you can set up this one you can use a uh, usb all right for your key okay and you can also use okay google authentication for creating a google authentication go to play store or app store and then choose a google authenticator okay so just like this one as you can see this one uh, i already activated this and then if you want to authenticate through sms just simply click this one on and then uh, they will ask your cell phone number and then you will they sent uh, six numbers and then you authenticate and then you can also use email address and then after that uh, verify your identification identify verification so that it will increase your uh, cash in or cash out transactions okay so you simply uh, submit your identification or and then you uh, just simply picture there's a picture and then that's it okay so that's it guys you have already uh account in binance or actually it's already okay your binance account so after that guys okay so the first the second thing that we're going to do is to deposit our account okay to our account so to deposit just simply go to wallet and then click fiat and spot okay so after creating that what you can see is just like this okay so uh, right now guys i have a uh, already fun on my account but i will show you on how you can deposit to deposit guys okay uh they have three ways okay so the first thing to deposit is you can use bank deposit okay and you can also use credit card okay so they have they have actually they, this right now is have four ways okay you can use bank deposit in your country it's it depends in your country guys okay so if your country is accepting this you can use this one okay but for you to use your bank you need to verify first your account so since my this account this another account is, account of mine is not yet verified so you need to verify first all right the same way with credit card so if you want to use credit card or mastercard or debit card okay just simply click that one and then okay so enter an amount so let's say you will use one thousand dollar you will deposit one thousand dollar okay so coin you can use uh, you can buy btc directly or you can change it to depends if you want uh stable which is the usd or the busd okay so you can change that one and then click buy usd so if you will buy you click buy so you have to verify first but if you have already verified so this how easy to deposit your account all right so the same way with uh p2p p2p is peer-to-peer -peer transactions but here in binance there is already a platform wherein you can use p2p okay so just like this one you can buy here directly just simply click buy trans buy usdt here so depends when you, what currency do you want to buy you can buy a lot of currency so okay okay all payments and then just simply buy usdt and that's how easy guys to deposit here on binance okay so assuming guys you have already an account just like my account i have already a fund 
So I hold actually I hold here in one of my Binance account. So all right, so I hold a Cell R network. So okay, so assuming guys you have already a USDT. Okay, so USDT is unstable. It's not fluctuating, uh, just like the uh, the the other coin. Okay, so USDT is the stable so right now guys we're going to trade okay we're going to use the spot trading first and then the next one is i will teach you on how you can use the uh, futures or the derivatives okay so we will use that classic okay platform or chart okay we'll use that all right and then this is what you can see guys okay so but first i will tour you or i will show you first all this part of the dashboard okay so this is the pair all right so as you can see this is the pair the bitcoin and the usdt you can change this you can change that one so this is the market price okay 24 hours change all right 24 high highest price in 24 hours and lowest price in 24 hours and this is the volume so if btc is where there is a hundred twenty thousand volume of bitcoin traded for 24 hours all right and as you can see spot there's also a spot tutorial if you want to learn more about spot tutorial using binance tutorial you can also do this by simply watching this one all right so you can bnb okay bitcoin alts fiat and zone so if you want to change that one it's easy guys just simply search this one if you want other pair okay let's say ethereum you can type that one and then uh various usdt so you can ch easily change that one okay after that all right so here in this part okay this is the price for selling and the price for uh, buying okay so this is a time frame okay you can easily change this one this is a 15 minute time frame meaning every candle each candle is 15 minutes okay so you can if you will change it to one hour every candle is a one hour okay every candle is a one hour if you want to change today every candle is one day so after that if you want to change for a minute, thir three minutes, five minutes, the same, the same way with that. So it depends on you. Okay. So if you will use four hours, every every candle is a four hour. Four hours. All right. So this one, you will use indicator. If you want to use other indicators, so you can use uh, this one, Bollinger. Okay. Or this is the main meaning main here here in this part so sub meaning this one okay so this one i use uh, personal use i use rsi the stochastic the macd and the bollinger okay i will explain it a little bit okay rsi is you can uh momentum you can use this for momentum and oversold and overbought the same with stochastic Okay, if you will, if you will disco check, okay, if the price is higher, so you can, you will know that this, uh, the green is an upper, just like the MACD, okay. There's a tutorial actually on YouTube on how you can use uh, this uh, exclusive tutorials for indicators. So, I just show you first on how you can find it and how to put it. Okay, and after that, you can change this view for trading view. Okay, you can change for that if you want to change it. All right, and if you want to expand, just simply click this one. Okay, if you want full screen, click this one. So uh, we will go back to original. Okay, right now, guys, uh, the pair that we are using is the uh, BTC USDT. So here in this part, you can see an spot. There is a cross and isolated, right? So, cross and isolated it will be used in uh, margin trading. So right now we'll use spot. As you can see, this is a limit. 
okay? And this is market and stop limit. Limit me meaning you will be the one to create the price for your buying. Let's say you want to buy. So assuming you want to buy uh, Bitcoin right now is the price of Bitcoin is 50,000 uh, let's say 50,369 like, like that. So you can put it there. I will show you later the difference between the market and the limit. Alright, so 372 if you if you have a balance and then you can put it there and then you can also uh, type it here what balance or how many USD do you want to buy let's say you have 10 or 100 so then click buy BDC and that's how easy guys so it will be after that okay it's the, since there is a minimum if you if you have a balance okay and then okay you can use you can use this one uh, you will see it here in open orders if you use limit but if you will use market okay the moment you input your how, ma how much USD you, you will use okay so no more open orders okay it's automatically uh, buy or bought the price that you want in Bitcoin okay that's how easy guys if you will use stop limit okay I don't recommend use for buying stop limit uh, I usually use this OCO or stop limit for selling. Alright, so let's say if you want to sell, click only limit and then you will sell okay, the price of what you also want to trigger. So let's say you want to sell. Of course, if you want to sell, you will sell at a higher price compared to what you bought. Okay, so you will sell at 52,000 in Bitcoin, then click this one and then click sell. Alright, so you will take profit for the difference between 50,000 and then 52,000 that's how easy guys to uh, trade here in spot okay the same with market if you want market automatically guys it will uh, sold your Bitcoin stop limit this is what, how how it works okay so if stop limit meaning okay the price that you want is let's say higher 53,000 all right so or stop limit so that it uh will not be on your budget let's say you want to sell or stop the price okay of 51,000 and then this is the limit 50,500 okay like that and then you will put all of that and then sell BTC meaning this is one when the price reaches 51,000, it will go to your open orders and it will limit, all right, stop, limit 50,500, the price of your Bitcoin will be sold. Okay, so this is, uh, uh, so this is your protection so that you will not lose a big amount. All right, so that's how easy guys to use uh, stop limit. If you want to use OCO, click this one and one cancel to another okay this one i will show you how to use this one so let's say you bought it for fifty thousand, for example and if you want to sell it for fifty five thousand, okay so stop limit of course lower than your price that you bought so fifty thousand. so let's say forty nine thousand. and limit meaning forty nine thousand will be put to triggered and open orders and uh, you will put limit of 48,000 for example when it reach the 48,000 your crypto will be sold all right so that's how easy guys to use the OCO I hope you understand guys and you learn from this okay so next thing what we're going to do is hey I'll show you how to use the futures all right so okay guys to start for Binance futures click first this one derivatives and then we will click this Binance or futures so I'm now using my other account here in Binance so that there is an actual uh, deposit here or I have balance here all right so as you can see guys okay so I have nine one hundred ninety four US dollar so that I will show you on how you use your uh, Binance futures the difference between Binance futures and uh, spot trading is that 
uh, it's not a buy low sell high this one guys is you have to first uh, assume or predict if the price will be uh, higher or lower or you can buy long or sell short meaning from here this price you will be uh, forecasting if the price will be up okay so i will show you on how to do it okay so but first i will we will uh, familiarize first here in this part so as this is the market price so this one here's the index the funding countdown and then higher price the same with the price of bitcoin in spot but the only difference is the one what to do all right so this one guys you will check if you want to isolate it or cross meaning cross the fund that you're not used will be still liquidated but isolated is the one the fund that you use is only will be liquidated okay so that's it so we'll be using isolated and this one you can change this one for it depends on how much you want to leverage you leverage from 125 the higher guys the riskier the lower the lower the risk okay so if you want just only 10 okay i will show you how to use or how to do this okay okay i will be showing you actual for bitcoin so i'll be using this one 10 percent okay that's the size all right then to do this okay just simply click this one i'm expecting that this price will be up so i will click buy low okay so order submitted as you can see and check we will check at the lower portion okay so this one as you can see this is the position that's an active okay open orders order history so bitcoin perpetual 16 le times leverage this is the size Okay, so liquidation price, if the price reaches to 46, so right now it's 49, uh, my money will be liquidated. Okay, so margin ratio is 6.37%. Okay, so this is the profit and loss, paper loss. As you can see, the price is lower than what I entry. So there's a negative. If you want to close, okay, just simply close all position. Not sell. Okay, before I, I do selling. Okay, that's not sell. Okay, so to close that, just simply click close all position. So if you reach if, if you reach the price that you want to sold and you take profit, just simply close all position or close position. Alright? If you want to put your stop loss, okay, you can put this one. Okay. So you will take, let's say you want to price is 55,000. And if you want stop loss uh, lower than your price, so let's say 47,000. If it is beyond the 47,000, okay, the price will be uh, close. Okay, so just simply put that one and then, okay, it's okay. Okay, you will see it here. Okay, so the stop loss. All right, so you can monitor your uh, profit and loss here. If you want to check from time to time but if you want to set it okay and not checking from time to time just simply put this one your price that you want to profit and stop loss all right so that's how easy guys to use the uh perpetual or btc perpetual or derivatives but i will also be teaching you first on how you can transfer from your money here in spot to uh, derivatives okay so i will show you how to do that okay so click this wallet all right so click this futures okay and then from that transfer will transfer from so to transfer from your spot or fiat okay to futures is click transfer all right so as you can see guys your money from spot will be transferred to futures so check if what coin is that so we will use the usdt or tether so you can put 100 percent if you want 
So I have $1,070 but if you win, if you want or you can also directly encode or type. Okay, let's say I will use $200. Okay, click confirm. So as you can see, transfer success. And you will see that to your derivatives or wallets on futures and the one that you transferred. So you will see here, you will check this one. All right, so... So as you can see guys, it will it's already added to my balance. All right, so that's how easy guys to do uh, Binance futures. But okay, so that so in order you for you guys to take profit, you have to study first the market. Okay, so there are other uh, there are lots of YouTube videos on teaching you how to trade properly on Binance futures and spot trading. Okay, basically guys, this tutorial is for you to familiarize the how to sign up. Okay, I will not teaching you here tips and tricks right now because this is just to familiarize you guys about the platform here on Binance. Okay, and after that, okay, I will be showing you on how you can withdraw. It's easy guys to withdraw here on Binance. Okay guys, to withdraw, just simply go to wallet, fiat and spot go back to that because your fiat and spot is actually your wallet already here in binance all right so as you can see you can also withdraw using your other cryptos and other countries guys they use it for fiat they can withdraw for fiat as long as your country is accepting the fiat money or uh for your banks or accepting this one so here there's an example you can use euro all right so there are lots brazilian euro great britain pound and others in other countries but there are countries that they're not yet accepting uh like this one so if you check this one if your country is there is a currency and they, you can easily withdraw or you can use bank card visa but there's a transaction fee of one percent fee all right so you can change that one so let's say you will be using usd or us dollar all right so and then you okay and then just simply continue okay just follow the instruction here on finance okay that's how easy guys to do this uh here on finance i hope you guys uh you get a good idea or value of these tutorials for signing up then doing spot trading and binance futures for more trainings guys there are lots of youtube videos for you guys to uh, learn more on how you can trade on how to take profit and how you make money big money by just trading cryptocurrency all right so this is what this is my video guys okay i will be uploading another videos about binance for next video tutorial thanks for watching and see you on my next video thanks and bye bye